Hello everyone, welcome to this session on symbolizing layers. This time we're going to take a look at symbolizing our layers using unique symbols. So in the last session we used a single symbol to represent our ski resorts. We're going to take a look at some unique symbols to represent layers. I'm going to uh, try symbolizing the ski boundaries layer. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll maybe just turn off some of these other layers here so that we can see them a little bit closer and uh, zoom into some of these layers. So right now it's using a single symbol I can see because each one is styled the exact same way. So I'm going to click my ski boundaries tab and notice or my ski boundaries layer and then I uh, will get some contextual menu tabs at the top. I'm going to click the symbology in the appearance tab and then I'm going to select one of these different options. So notice I have a option to symbolize using unique values. This type of symbolization is good for categorized data or non-numeric data. Some data usually that is not quantifiable. Now before I choose this, what I'm going to do is perhaps take a look at the attribute table of the layer. So what I'll do is I'll select, right click on the layer and choose attribute table and that will bring up my attribute table here on the bottom. Notice that uh, you can move this around, you can dock it at different locations if you like uh, and close it down at any time. But what I'm looking for here is a attribute that I can use a unique style for. For instance things like shape lengths and shape areas are probably not going to be uh, a good choice because these values are all unique and what I will end up having is 15 different layer categories for that symbol. So what I'm looking for is something a little bit more non-quantifiable. Something like for instance price where I only have a few different categories in which can be styled. So once you've decided on an attribute to style, you can go back into the symbology tab and again if it isn't showing, click your layer select the appearance tab, click symbology, and then change the primary symbology selection to unique values. Now in the field section you're going to change to the field that you want to symbolize from and in that case we're going to choose price. And now I can then choose a variation of different types of color ramps if I want. And you can choose uh, one of the different options here. You can also style these uh, uniquely based on your own choices. So for instance, if you're going on an ordered set of lists, for instance, from lowest price to highest price, you might want to go from lowest, or sorry, pardon me, lightest to darkest. So you can simply click the one category and then select the uh, color that you want and change that up uh, for each one of those. Also notice you've got a more drop down button here so if you want to change something uh, for all of the different classes that you've uh, added you can go ahead and select format all symbols and so for instance you've got a gallery or a properties button here you can switch between either one for instance maybe you wanted to change the thickness of the outline for all of those classes you can change that click apply and then say OK and then go back to the main symbology screen. Also notice in this section you've got the symbology column here, you've got the value and then you've got the label. The label is what's going to be labeled on your screen and also what's going to show in the legend in the contents pane. So whatever you see here is going to show up in the legend. And if you're not happy what's showing in the legend you can go ahead and change this manually. For instance, you can simply collect under the layer tab and go ahead and add in whatever you like if, you, if you're so inclined. Now, uh, that will again reflect in the legend when you construct your layout. So that's it for symbolizing data using a unique symbol. Thanks for watching.